who celebrate the musicians behind the scene, the basses, the drummers, the keyboardists, the, the guitar players and all? Okay, for me, I don't feel bad. I mean, you know, when you, if you're a street cleaner, you decide to clean the street, your reward is a job well done. Whether somebody tell you well done or not. You know. Your reward is in heaven. <laughs> well, no, no, that's the thing. You know, when you, when you do a good job, you mm. feel satisfied with what you've done. Whether you are acknowledged or not. Or not, yeah. If you're acknowledged, oh, that's by the way. That's a, it's a plus. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, yes. But, but right, why did you choose jazz? That's a very interesting question. Uh, let me see how I'll answer this. Did I choose jazz or just chose me? I Here think, we go again. I, I think jazz chose me. <laughs> You're not the first that I'm going to hear. So yeah. yeah. Honestly speaking. How did that happen? Something internal and then also external influences as well. So when I was growing up, I was exposed to the music of the Crusaders. As opposed to George Benson's music, Ooh, as opposed to George B. yeah, the the Coltrane's, the Charlie Parkers, mm -hmm. and of course I was exposed to what most people may not consider them to be jazz musician, but I think they are really authentic, like the Urubu legendary musician Chief Omokomoko Sokpa, who was a very was a master improviser in his art form of the opera music and of course you hear the Aruna and Shalaz as well doing a lot of improvisation because jazz music is embedded in the African musical ideology. Mm. So essentially jazz is actually African. Yeah. Okay, but you know the why why so that's how jazz chose you. Yeah jazz chose me. Jazz chose you. We need to meet jazz and ask <laughs> Jazz, did you choose him? But of all the instruments to play, you chose the bass guitar. And I've heard you play, and we've just heard also in the background the, the sound of your bass guitar playing. Why bass guitar? Okay, that's uh, playing bass is like substantial. Okay. You know, when I, when I was started out to learn in the church, I was actually forced to come learn equipment, by the way because I was pretty stubborn when I was <laughs> younger. So when I came in, I went for guitar. What it did is sort of like an audition for me, but my fingers couldn't press the string to the boards, and the sound was muffled. So they say, oh, you don't have the brain for instruments, you know? I like, ah, my interest was already ignited. I went to piano, keyboards, they said, no, we're complete. I went to drums, say we're complete. I went to bass, say we're complete. So I said, so what happens to me? <laughs> they said, well, we can't teach you. You have to leave. That when this set of people learn, they will teach you. Oh dear. But I, I couldn't leave, but they didn't allow me to stay. So what I did was go out, stay by the window. And since bass was the last point I went to, I just stood by the window, so I... Oh, it was very magnetic. I mean, everything they were teaching them, I knew until Faithful I set the equipment and I was playing. And the teacher came early and heard me. I was, you don't play in this. How did you learn it? I said, well, I've been observing from the window and I wow. <laughs> go back to the pastor's place, pick the instrument and try to replicate what. Okay, so jazz so chose bass, you. Bass jazz chose, chose you. No, 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 no. <laughs> jazz chose you. You chose me. But it was circumstantial, that's what I'm saying. Because mm. naturally it was the guitar that I went for. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, um, so jazz music, uh, there are many people you know, back in time growing up. When you hear, I mean, a lot of might also be able to validate this. When you hear jazz, it's not like, well, okay, won't play jazz. It's just playing jazz. It sounds like it's playing nonsense, you know. Yeah. But you say, um, because I've heard you make this assertion that jazz music has some good sides to it that many people may not be aware of. Want to tell us some, tell us Okay, tell so us first that. of all, jazz doesn't have some good side. Jazz is good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a very because important. for many people if they can't sing along it's not music okay so they, they they miss they miss a lot of things it's like saying uh every everyday english conversation then you look at a wally shoinka and say what wally shoinka does as a poet and other stuff is just 
like that. Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a national weakness that many people have ears, but they can't hear. They can't hear sound, they can't hear color, they can't hear textures. And these are the things that really refreshes the soul. You know, so jazz music, when you look at classical music and you look at jazz music, then you look at folk music, jazz music is a sort of like taking a classical music, which is a real established art music, and taking folk music and marrying them together. Okay. So becoming like the king music, ever that music, popular music deriving its oxygen from oh, jazz nice. music. So jazz, it's people who don't listen or think jazz music is nonsense to it's them. Jazz. But it's easy. <laughs> so it's like saying, well, well, when I was growing up, we listened a lot. So we we'll go to, when I go to the village, I see these people playing percussion. It's fascinating. They're talking, mm. that they're communicating something, something deep, something sublime. You know, but, but that's Brian, what. It's, it's, isn't it unusual to see children enjoying jazz? When we were little, jazz was more like music for the grown-ups. Yep. We preferred more mundane music, yeah. you know, contemporary music. I think my, for me, it was different. For me, being young, I, I enjoyed jazz music. I enjoyed the artistic beauty. So you were the odd beauty. one out. Yeah, 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 yeah sort of. But I, I want to think that, you know, the way things grow, what you're exposed to early becomes an ideal no thing for you. you. Yeah. You know, when you're not exposed to it, it looks like Greek. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, mm. So it, it's, um, may I say that the, the high life music that we tend to, so these are uh, local music and other stuff was a sort of reaction to the big band jazz. So like the, the Western African version of a big band jazz. So when you listen to the high life music of the Kola Lobitos fella, you find that they are intricately, the, the sounds are intricately woven, we are weaved by to create what you know today. But over time, things are being watered down. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's the right place for the Nigerian human to be. Mm. Because music has terrible, terrific effect on the moral character of the soul. Is so education in this aspect, understanding colors, mm. textures, articulations, the language, and the underguiding philosophy of this sense is very important. Now tell us about this. Uh, I, I just learned from you that there's such a thing as International Jazz Day. Yeah, I think since, 90, uh, since 1994. Interesting. Tell United us about Nation that. United Nations sanctioned day that was voted at the United Nations General Assembly. Tell us about it. How are we doing it? What, when is this? How are we doing it this yeah. year? So this site is the month of April is the International Jazz Month. And oh. the 30th of April is United Nations International Jazz Day. Okay. Celebrating jazz music for its contribution and propagation of democratic values. How? Yeah, How does okay. jazz music do democratic values? Interesting. So you should be aware that a lot of the American jazz players did what they call jazz um, diplomacy. Okay. What we know as democracy is collective governance, really, as against tyranny. So in jazz music, we take tone soloing. Okay. Like Buhari is president today. 2023, so hopefully, it's not going to be president. Someone else takes that's democrat, democracy. So, when you see jazz players playing, this guy is leading now. The next moment, the other Someone person else. takes leadership. And then, those who are not leading are not docile followers, they are active followers. They are seriously interested in what is happening. They're very attentive. If you strain, they nudge. Mm. And hey, this year we ask, well, that's good. Now, it's not a perfect form of music. 
All right, so mistakes happen. So now when mistakes happen in jazz music, we don't crucify the player. Okay, we you know, we, 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 could go, we could go on and on, <laughs> right, but you know, we're, yeah. we're completely out of time. Yeah. Is, there, is, there, is there an event for that? So yes, that we say? have the Span International Jazz Festival happening at Freedom Park on the 30th of this month, which is next week, Saturday. Okay. Alright, yeah. and well, the lineup is really super. The line lineup, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm that there is there well. any place anyone can get more information on this? Yes, be uh, on social media, media spam, or something. Okay. Spamnigeria.org. You get information there, and right. a lot of social media. Even Freedom Park. All right. Information. Bright Gain, award-winning jazz artist, composer, improviser, educator, bass player, motivator, and. Christocentric thinker. thinker. We didn't yeah. get to that part. Thank you so much for being a part of this thank program. You, today. Thank okay. you. Thank you for having me. God bless you. And you at home, thank you for spending your morning with us this Saturday. Uh, that's our program. We'll bring you a fresh edition.